So we spend a lot of time on this channel talking about men's issues relating to guys, which makes sense with our 95% male demographic. But sometimes it's good to understand the plight of the opposite gender. And also shout out to my 2% of you who are girls, Katie, Rocky, talking to you. And I stumbled across the Reddit that I thought that you guys would maybe not mind reviewing because it is called Big Boob Problems. I think relatively rare life experience of having been in both the itty bitty titty community and the oversized extra busty committee. You'll be hard pressed to find a guy who doesn't appreciate women with big chests. There might be men who prefer smaller chests and are more attracted to it, but you're gonna have a hard time finding a guy who thinks big chests are ugly. <laughs> that is not gonna happen. And there's a whole host of stuff that comes with having a big chest that I think none of you guys have considered before. Oh, by the way, what up redeemers? <laughs> We're gonna relate to some booby problems, y'all. And YouTube, this is about how stuff fits and how people treat you. Okay, this is a social video. It's not a focus on body parts in the way that you don't like. I promise you to. So if you're reviewing this video, hi, I'm Paige. I'm trying really hard to be algorithm friendly. And I promise this doesn't have anything dirty in it. So you can just save your time and just click the green button. Love you. Bras for C cups and under. Hello, princess. Let me kiss your nips with a hint of lace while enrobing your chest in fine silk, gently embracing them together like two fragile turtle doves cooing in the snow. Bras for D cups and up. What's up, blobfish? Here's some beige canvas held together by braided rope and constrictor knots and intricate pulley systems. Don't forget to yell heave ho for hosting these anchors onto the upper deck so people in a five mile radius can run for cover. We attached a hastily made bow in the middle so you'll feel pretty. <laughs> I neglect to mention that after calling you a blobfish that needs steel boned architectural struts, struts to hold up the girls, they're gonna charge you $75 for the pleasure. $10 upcharge for every letter past D. <laughs> it's literally so true. Part of the reason I wanted to like not have a big chest anymore, among a host of other reasons, but like it was like really hard to like every time I would go to Victoria's Secret and I would find like, oh my god, this set is so cute, all in the matching panty. And then I'd like go to the, like the third. 34 double D drawer, which by the way, isn't even that uncommon of a size. Like, and it would almost never have the colors I wanted. They'd have like three colors. Like they just ordered less in the big, big sizes or something, I guess, cause they didn't move as quick. Cause most girls just don't naturally have chests that big when they're that small and band size. And then nobody wants to make the super pretty lacy stuff with rhinestones all over it for the big, big chest. Cause it's more expensive and they can't sell. They can't make as much of a profit cause they have to use more materials to make it. Yeah. It's a real struggle y'all y'all don't understand waking up after sleeping with a tank top on <laughs> literally me <laughs> every time i would try to sleep when they were bigger just tank top just would just fall in the middle <laughs> now i don't have that problem i wake up everything's covered my nips don't get cold Busty girl problems. Don't slouch, that's why your shoulders and back hurt. Don't stick your chest out like that. He sends the wrong message. Yeah, that's the thing about having like big hoo-hahs, you know, like it doesn't really matter what you wear unless you're like really frumpy and then you just look fat, right? And that's, you don't want to do that either. You just naturally get that kind of attention no matter how like conservative you try to dress it up. I was just tired of that type of attention. What's the real benefit of that type of attention unless you're just like hella hustling it and like monetizing it like, you know, e-girls or whatever. It's just kind of useless. It just gets in the way, honestly, if you want to do anything else. Like you can be super smart and funny, but then they're like, oh, but she has huge boobs. And then that suddenly takes over everything else. So yeah, I'm sure you guys care so much. I'm sure. I'm over here just trying to help you guys understand girls so you can pick them up more. This might be the most relatable infographic I've ever seen in my life. You guys should recognize some of this. This should make sense to you. So sick of feeling comfortable? Try bras. Helps tight shirts look and feel worse. Because it makes you look lumpy and fat. Endless styles and colors to choose from. <laughs> Straps come in two awful options. Too tight, digs in, or it falls off your shoulder. Cups, one size fits one. <laughs> when they were fake, then they used to fit. But now that they're real, they don't fit. Only one fits. <laughs> My solution is just never wearing a bra, but... <laughs> Damn though, I think she's hot. But like, can you imagine like if you have a chest like that, like it is so heavy and sweaty and I have no desire that. And accusing me of having fake tits. 
fake. Which I understand. Well, they think it's fake because you're so curvy. Like, usually when they're that big, then they're on much bigger girls. But I just have a question for you. <laughs> you think if I had the money to get my tits done, I wouldn't start with my f I don't know what she was gonna say. I did not expect that. It was amazing. Yeah, same girl, same. Oh, and then all you guys in the comments like, Paige, you could have a beautiful thick legs and a thick juicy butt if you just did squats. Listen, I have done at least 10,000 squats easily in my 20s. Even if I was a little miss fitness addict and I went at it every single day, I have a very small square frame. Don't have those kind of curves. So what would happen is I would end up just looking just really muscly, like more manly is what would happen. Me thinking about all the clothes I could wear if I had smaller boobs. <laughs> this was me two years ago <laughs> because all the clothes that I like just don't flatter like big chests, you know? And then if you wore those clothes anyway, like stuff that has like deep v's and like really strappy and like not covering your chest that much like like you can wear it it's just you're falling out of it and you look like you're you know like asking for that type of attention constantly and it's like versus like now i can just wear something like low cut and strappy and no one cares <laughs> it's amazing the old lift and tuck <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I used to do this all the time because you get so much under boob sweat and it's not cute and it like rubs and it's not comfortable. And so I would like put on t-shirts and just <laughs> just try to like put fabric under there to like prevent it. And it was like, that was another reason. I don't know. I am just not someone that can rock big boobs like it just doesn't work for me i don't know how people stand it but I, they just get in the way of everything it was supposed to be my easter dress <laughs> oh no <laughs> i was gonna say like maybe you ordered it too small but it looks like it fits so <sighs> don't know why anyone wants big boobs they're heavy nothing fits properly they hurt your bag and they make you look 10x fatter than you are so true i felt like i looked so fat all the time with those things like i mean there's so i knew how to pull it off or whatever but like just normal day to day i was like god i look so big and now i look really like small it's great even though i'm like pretty much the same weight <laughs> where's the audio oh i think there is no audio face masks oh you're making a face mask out of your old <laughs> Yeah, not happening. <laughs> yeah, try making a hat out of it. <laughs> oh God, I can't imagine having them that big, dude. What do you do with those things? I know there's definitely like a lot of people who love that stuff and it definitely looks really good on like a lot of girls, but it's, it literally just, I mean, mine were big. They weren't even that big, you know? Found my friend's bikini top in my laundry. <laughs> Oh boy. When a friend tells me my boobs only get noticed when I wear tops with cleavage, so I should wear a shirt that covers up more. They'll never not get noticed unless you're just like going out of your way to look frumpy, which is what I did. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's time for summer dresses. And to answer the eternal qu question, <laughs> slutty or fat? Yeah, that was pretty much my only two options when they were big. <laughs> I mean, in fairness to the first one, you're fully covered, so I would hardly call that slutty. You're clearly large busted, but you're not putting the goods on to show excessively. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, this isn't actually slutty, you know, but, like, there's just, like, every straight guy is gonna look at you and be like, you know, you don't even have to have them on display, and it's not, it's, it's not a life I want, pretty much. <laughs> Speaking of temperature issues, I remember when they were really big, I would always feel like I was hot, but then like my nips would be freezing because <laughs> they were too far away from my body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still always so hot. Like not like that stop. I'm like a battery though. Like I'm always warm. My house has to be on like 64 or I'm hot. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess I'm just so Viking, you know, I just need the cold. Yeah, I totally had this issue too. Oh my God, keyhole top turned open window top. I mean, she looks like really fit and has like a really good body, but I'm probably similarly sized, maybe not similarly shaped. So when they were really big, I would try to order tops like this, but then they would fit like they fit her. And so then I would try to order bigger tops and then they'd just be too big everywhere else. And it was like, I quit. <laughs> I quit fake boobs. I quit. <laughs> when it takes more energy to get the sports bra on than it does to actually work out. 
literally my life. If you go, again, if you go a size up, then it just doesn't fit. And so then you go the size you are and it's just so tight. You can't get it over everything. And it's just like such, so much work. <laughs> By the time I got my sports bra on, I was like, okay, that's enough calories burned. I'm good. Make a mask out of a bra, they said. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have these anymore. <laughs> it's as big as my face. <laughs> if you recognize where this bra is from, you are informed. <laughs> Comment's gonna be like, can I buy that bra? Big boobs starter pack. Walmart Karens when they see you in your low cut tank top. Oh, did you know Karen is like a slur now? 2020, man. <laughs> Slouching. Victoria, F this place. People when I try to explain, I want a reduction. Why though? Dress like this to avoid unwanted attention. Quadro boob. <laughs> oh my God, how big are your boobs? <laughs> Friends and other women. Oh, quit bragging. You have what we all want. Your admirers. <laughs> Cute, flirty, socially acceptable. <laughs> Covered up, sloot. None of you can relate to this, but when your bra doesn't fit, <laughs> I bet some of you can if you guys have dated girls with big chests and stuff. You feel us? You feel it? Why don't you just wear a sports bra? I am wearing a sports bra. Yeah, I never feel like I could run or anything because I just would be like... <sighs> they just were uncomfortable. They would like jump and then you'd feel like this movement on your chest and it was so unnatural feeling. Maybe it's different for people with who were natural and not fake like I was though. Okay, well that's it for today. I hope you guys got a little bit of a laugh out of it and can relate to your big chested honeys, you know, feel their pain and stuff. Cause now if you ever do a girl and she got big chest and she's gonna, whenever she's like, oh my God, my boob is hurt. You can actually be like empathetic and not say something dumb. Like, oh, but I like them, honey. Like we know, we know you like them big, but it sucks to actually carry them around. Okay. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys so much. Redeemers, like, subscribe, notifications. Bye.